This was a very quick tutorial on how to change the icon in the widget UMG. Right now I'm using the default third person template that most of you are familiar with. So the first thing I'm going to do is use these textures as just an example. You can use whatever textures you want, but these are all textures that I've imported that we're going to be changing. So go to widget and create a new one. I'm just going to call it UI underscore gun. Inside of the widget, we are going to add a single image to the top. Make sure to anchor it to the top 0 by 0, and then 0 0.5 by negative 0.5, so that it's centered. And we're going to go into the graph and create a function called get icon. We're going to add a single input down here. We're going to call this gun icon and then set the variable type to a texture. You need to scroll all the way down until you find one that just says texture. Now we're going to drag out from here and click Promote to Variable. Just click Enter. You can leave it a name as is. Now we're going to go back into the Designer. Under Image, you should see Brush. If it's not there, it'll you'll have to expand this. Now click Bind, Create Binding. You'll have one return node, but you need to copy and paste and create two. So we're going to get that gun icon that we just made. We're going to get a is valid. Make sure it's the function is valid. And drag them off into both return nodes. Now on both return nodes, click split struct pinned. For the first one, we're going to drag this gun icon just leave it right there. Then for this second one, I'm going to use the default, this red X, as the default image that will show up. Compile, save. Now we need to go into our third person character on right click and then event begin play. We're going to create a widget, the gun widget that we just made. Drag out from here and click Promote to Variable. Call this gun UI ref. And we're going to drag out from here and add to viewport. Compile, save. If everything is done correctly, you should see the red X and no errors. Now we're going to update the icon. So we're going to create three variables. First one is called gun icon default. We're going to set this to be a texture variable. Compile, and then we're going to set this to that red X by default. Then we're going to duplicate that and call it gun icon one and then duplicate that one and call it gun icon two and we're going to set gun icon one to be this pistol icon that i created and we're going to set gun icon two to be this flintlock this uh shotgun thing that i created i'll save now create a custom event called change icon. We're going to drag out and do a flip flop. On A, we are going to set this one to icon 1. Then on B, we are going to set the default to 
on icon two. Now we can grab the gun UI ref that we just made from this, drag out and get gun icon, or uh, the function that we made earlier, get icon, get icon. And plug this in, and you can plug this into the bottom and duplicate that, get icon. Do the same thing for the bottom. Now I'm going to go into the project settings under input and create a new action map. Just call this test button. Set it to T. Back inside third person, I'm going to do test button that we just created. So on pressed, we are going to use that custom event we just created called change icon. Drag this in, compile, save. Now if we open it up, we see it's an X, but if I press T, it will change to the pistol. I press T again, it changes back to the shotgun, T back forth. 